a lot of men don't realize that there is a beginning, meaning a lot of men don't realize that there is a child that becomes this woman, this woman who's now being prostituted. So one of the things that I think is very important to do is to showcase to men that how this whole thing begins, how this whole process begins, usually through abuse, through poverty, through violence against that young child, and show them that this end result, this woman that's on this dirty mattress, is not someone that willingly wanted to be there, it's someone that was forced into it and, 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 and violated into it from a very young age. And I have so many men that will look at one of the films and say, oh my God, I didn't know that that's how they got there. And I look at them and say, well, what did, you, what did you think? How do you think this woman became a prostituted woman? And they give me this, this blanket stare like, and that's how you make a change. The average age of a prostituted woman in the United States is she starts into prostitution at age 12. So when folks try to normalize prostitution or they try to make prostitution somehow okay or normative, what happens is we lose sight of the fact that someone's being exploited. And this has to change. When we take a collective ownership that this is not Cambodia's problem or Thailand's problem, but it's my problem at Columbia. It's my problem in Washington Heights. There has to be an ownership, that, an I instead of a they. The two words, sex and work, should never be put together ever. If we can push the fight a little further, you know, further back to the youth, get them involved now, then that 13-year-old boy who he won't have that pack mentality when he's 23. That nine-year-old boy and that seven-year-old boy, they won't have it. And if we can start working on large groups of youth all across the country and the world right now, then guess what? In 10 years, the, the young adults, and in 20 years, the adults will be so, so far removed from this lack of consciousness, and they will be so ahead of us where we are as a society that this won't even be a conversation anymore. Shells of life.